I'm going to show you how to synthesize a video pattern using voltage controlled oscillators and the LZX Visionary video synthesizer. First we're going to take the output of the triangle wave from the first oscillator and feed it into our color encoder. Right now this oscillator is sending a very slow triangle wave to the color red. So we see a fade in, fade out of the color red. Frequency ranges are very important with video. This oscillator goes all the way from LFO speeds through to different types of video rate speeds. What we want to do with this first oscillator is generate some scrolling horizontal lines. You notice as the frequency of the oscillator is increased or decreased around 60 hertz, which is the field rate, that that determines the direction of our moving lines. So we want a nice slow downward scroll. An important feature of the video oscillator is the synchronization circuit. If we wanted those red bars to stop moving, we would need to reset the oscillator every time there was a new video field. On our video sync generator module, we have a field clock rate output. By synchronizing the video oscillator to that clock output, we can generate stable bars. But for this pattern, we want some movement in our bars, and an unsynced oscillator in this frequency range is a good way to do it. Now, let's switch the output over to our second oscillator. This one we're going to make go much faster, all the way up. This oscillator is now running at a frequency faster than the line rate. That is about 15 kilohertz for NTSC video. This means that it's going to be very difficult to create stable patterns unless we sync the oscillator with the line rate. You can see we're coming out of the line rate output from our video sync generator module. Now what we're seeing is stable vertical bars because this oscillator is resetting down the left side of the screen every time that the video display moves back over to the left to print a new line. We can combine these two vertical and horizontal patterns through frequency modulation. Let's keep looking at our second oscillator but take the triangle wave output from our first oscillator and feed it into the frequency modulation input of the second one. As you can see now, we're seeing kind of a triangle zigzag. This is because the frequency of the second oscillator is being increased by the first oscillator along a different axis. Now, if we want to get a third oscillator into the mix, we can run that at low frequency speeds and frequency modulate the first oscillator you can see now that the pattern is moving up and down based on the speed of the second oscillator if we want to make it look a little bit more stable we can patch and synchronize the first oscillator like we did a few minutes ago. So this is a very basic example using three video oscillators to create a pattern.